What is going on, you guys? It's your guy, Senpai Rai, and we just got a new LD banner. None other than Final Fantasy II's Emperor. So, this is how he is built so far. I still need to go fill out mm, a few of his boards after he fell off the wagon a couple of months ago. But now, his new LD, the Rod of Spite will fix a few of his problems and as you see i got pretty decent artifacts on him i have a couple of the plus 65 attacks 108 would obviously be a world away as far as being better so i will obviously try to dive in a little bit deeper for that later on off camera and as you also see we got his lost chapter the dastardly dominus but this is why we are here you guys for this banner now as you see his artifacts are passable oh okay i see you over there too there is no escape but we need this ld that way we can bring emperor back because of just one word traps now from this banner last week i got the ld off of the free multi and i got the burst weapon off of the other free multi um, not even joking. Oh, yeah, and the EX as well. But Lee's is the only one that has gotten away from me. Got the burst, got the LD. And Edward, don't even, don't even get me started with you. I did get the Arden, a copy of Arden's burst off of the free multi for the Edward banner. But I think I might just have his, like, 35 and 15-ish. Did not dig in too deep. Threw a couple tickets at it, but these are the rights. So it's... 1.3% to get essentially everybody's EX weapon with a 0% chance to obtain a legendary LD or burst from this banner. So let's dive right in. Build up the anticipation. Isn't this shit amazing? <laughs> no, okay. Again, remember once upon a time, whenever it used to change between, like this, between bronze and silver. Okay, Cecil. And Onion Knight. Hmm, Onion Knight's 15. Skip <laughs> is what I want to say. All right, now for the main course. We are just above 47,000 rubies, and we need this LD. That way we can run with Emperor in the roster once again since he is pretty much built minus a few character boards which is fine as you see last week for the courtly headdress it is a 0.1 percent chance from a single or a three percent chance from a multi so it's one in a thousand tickets that is insanity but i got this one featuring forsaken from the last free multi but this is the one that we want today the hellish gaze from the rod of spite with the old ex drop rates of 0.5 percent or five percent from a multi and you see with a multi there is a three percent chance to get a burst and a 0.75 chance from singles or a 7.5 percent chance from well as you already know the multi to acqu to acquire one of the other three featured ex weapons but the ld is what we want so, not wasting any more time. We are going to go for broke or obtain this weapon trying. Just like the last few times, but I may take it kind of easy on that notion after this video. We'll see how blessed or cursed I am after these pulls. So let's go, you guys. What's my first gold gonna be? Oh, you're so I didn't just see that. I did not just see that. Uh... Wow, what is, I don't, God. So the past four multis have been either LDs or EXs that, what is happening? This is, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is reality. So let's dive right into a um, mission. That way we can show off Mr. Emperor's EX. Oh, excuse me, LD weapon. Okay, everybody, let's jump right into 
the intercession of the wicked rising with the newly acquired LD weapon right here, which was Rod of Spite, which gives us Hellish Gaze. And Hellish Gaze is pretty straightforward compared to all of Emperor's other attacks. It essentially just triggers your Beckoning Blast from your skill 1 trap, your Thunder Crest from your skill 2 trap, and your Dreary Cell trap from your EX. And on top of that, it's also an 8-hit Brave into magic attack, moderately increasing Brave whenever it's a single target up to 180% and deals 50% HP damage to non-targets. Similar to his skill 2 is Beckoning, oop, excuse me, his Thundercrest, which at the bottom you see it deals 50% of the actual traps damage to other opponents. But this in itself is dispersed evenly as far as the brave into hp attack goes now let's start off using his hellish gaze ex once again here we go hellish gaze trap one trap two trap three and that looked very painful well done sir that was enough to take out the phoenix but the thing about phoenixes phoenix i Phoenix seizes is that they tend to rise from the ashes yet again. Now we can easily use Hellish Gaze again to just melt his face off, but check this out. After you use Emperor's LD, your Brave and your HP attack become their plus 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 variants. And as you see, the difference, the huge difference being is that whenever anybody's afflicted with the traps, the, again, Beckoning Blast from the skill 1, the Dreary Cell, or the Thunder Crest from the skill 2, and the Dreary Cell from the EX. This will trigger, and then you'll also have a 3-hit Brave attack on top of that. And as far as the HP attack, it does a lot similar, where it would trigger the attacks, and also have a 2-hit Brave into HP attack. Now, this is amazing, because again, the skill 1, Beckoning Blast, lets you have your trap on an opponent for one turn. Now, it's two turns whenever it's Thundercrest for the Thundercrest trap. And for Dreary Cell, I believe it's one turn as well. But here, let's take this route. We're going to go with skill one right now, the Beckoning Blast. And this again is a four hit Brave into HP single target attack. And you see right here, he got his Beckoning Blast debuff so i'm going to now this time go with a eh, let's have some fun because it has no natural attack to begin with let's go with a brave attack to trigger it boom and then i fill up with a brave isn't that wonderful nice shot ace <laughs> oh i love it traps everywhere we go now let's move right along into emperor's skill two this is a fun one. Again, the short version of all this madness and wordiness is it's a four-hit Brave into HP attack, and it causes your, well, opponent to have the debuff trap called, like the name implies, Thunder Crest for two turns. And whenever it triggers, it's a four-hit Brave into HP attack with 50% of the damage being dispersed among the other enemies. So... We're going to hit this bad boy right now. Here we go. And voila. See? We have two turns of the Thunder Crest. Now, this is the interesting one right here. For his EX. <laughs> There's no easy way to put this. Okay. Essentially, six hit Brave into HP attack. Brave can exceed up to 200% when attacking single targets. Deals proportionate damage to every target, so evenly distributed damage. And all targets overwrites with one turn all the all the traps, the Thundercrest, the Beckoning Blast, and the Drury Cell. So it overwrites them, so you'll see them trigger. And for himself, I'm talking about Emperor, it will grant him six turns of Hell Power and Thirst for Dominion. Very important. Now... His trap in itself is kind of similar to the others where it's a four-hit Brave into HP attack, but it ignores defense, which is very nice because 
his uh emperor's traps are predom are based off of his attack stat. So his C fifty passive and his a one oh eight attack build would be pretty ideal when it comes to his artifacts. And as you saw, I have a couple sixty fives instead of one oh eight, so apparently I still need a little bit of farming in that category. But let's get back to this. Now it also mo this. EX also moderately increases brave damage when attacking single targets. Uh, I'm talking about the mine, and it delays the target for one turn. I'm talking about the dreary cell. So, let's have a little bit of fun. Use this debuff attack up, which as you see from the tokens, you will slightly raise attack when attacking a debuff target for four turns. Why not? Let's give us a little bit more firepower and fire off Jury Cell and Starfall. Which, whenever I originally acquired the Venom Rod EX from the original banner, oh lord, I went like almost all the way to pity. I was about 70k deep. That was hurtful. Sorry, you get knocked back a turn. See, that is what happens after you use this man's EX, it dumps all of his traps onto the enemy so that paired with this overbearing and very well balanced hellish gaze ex puts him back on par with what the meta is in this new day and age since well <laughs> he has been kind of out of fashion for a little while mr emperor is who i'm speaking of but with the new lds i can now put both Emperor and Ultimecia, both king and queen, back in the ranks and just, well, clear content with them now. Because, as y'all saw, they are pretty much built. I still need to run a couple more things with Emperor, but let's dive right in. Hellish Gaze, once again, let's spring all the traps to give y'all another visual. Boop. There we go. And finally, oh, I dig it. He just throws... A whole bunch of tornadoes like it's the goddamn Wizard of Oz, you know, and <laughs> Dorothy is a huge, ugly, what is that? A, uh, kind of looks like a turtle creature with a spear, something of that sort. So, let's cast Hellish Gaze one more time, just because. Hmm. Err. Here we go. <laughs> Hellish Gaze! Activate! Trap one. Trap two. Trap three. <laughs> uh, and just because. Not quite as flashy as a burst weapon where you put somebody in pretty much the equivalent of a reality marble and just wreck shop on them. But at the same time, all you need is one individual on the team with a burst weapon at the time, as you guys know. That way, I mean, you can only use one person's burst per, you know per run so <laughs> well that was absolutely breathtaking everybody let's take a quick look at what the new appearance of the bet venom rod looks like kind of nice i dig it was that like a, can i zoom in no i cannot zoom in it's a face look at it it is so a face it's like oh look at me <laughs> my pimp cane has a face on it <laughs> just in case you didn't know and this is old venom rod looks would not want to um handle that because i mean i don't know if it's made of metal but if it is uh tetanus would be a thing <laughs> i would imagine yeah this one this one might still cut your hands up you know with a little bat wings right there but you know that's that's beside the point <laughs> on that glorious note i think i will call this a video everybody thank you guys for tuning in and make sure that you guys check out my video that I dropped last week on Kefka once again with obtaining his LD, his EX, and his burst weapon. I'll leave a link in the pin below. Again, thank you all for the time. And this was an amazing video. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I have had a blast making it and I hope that y'all have had a wonderful time viewing this information as well. I will see all of you guys next time. This has been your guy, Senpai Rai, and make sure to check me out at patreon.com backslash YT Senpai Rai. And I'm out, you guys.
Peace.